define how the vacuum extends itself and feed back on itself, then we would have the key to the fundamental structure of space. And with that key, we would have access to literally an infinite amount of energy and curvature of space-time, which equates gravitational control and so on. And so I started to study very intensely physics in its depth. And I found some of the difficulties that physicists had encountered. And I started, because of my approach, I, I, would, I was seeing past those difficulties into maybe a way to solve them. And this weekend, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to present some material that I have not published yet, that I just finished, uh, which uh, solve equation that proves, literally, mathematically proves, that atoms, every single atom you're made of, which is billions and billions and trillions of atoms, each one of them is a mini black hole. Each one of them has an infinite potential singularity at its center, and it produces the effect that we call the electron cloud. And that's why it has all these unusual dynamics, like it spins for billions of years non-stop at near the speed of light and all these things. But beyond the fact that this can be applied to technology, beyond the fact that all of a sudden physics would start regarding the world as a fractal structure of the space itself, beyond the fact that it would start regarding the material world at different scale black hole, what I call black hole, white hole, or black hole, hole, H-O-L-E, W-H-O-L-E. Uh, Beyond that is the fact that realizing that this infinite nature is actually present in you, in every one of your atoms, and that because of that infinite nature, you are connected to all things in the universe at all time. That you're dependent on the structure of the vacuum for every billionth of a second that you exist. That you are actually exchanging information with all of the universe through every one of your atoms right now in this room in order to breathe, experience, assimilate the information, and feedback information that you are an active participant in the universe creation right now is, is the ultimate understanding, the ultimate message of this new energy technology. That is, the energy, the technology, and you are one. And you're... <laughs> Thank you. And you're not one in an esoteric way that is not really palpable, that's not really able to be understood. It's one. You're one with everything in actual, physical, mathematical way that I can write an equation and tell you why. And that is necessary for your cognitive mind. And it's necessary for your survival. Because if we can write the equation, if we can make the mainstream scientific community understand the theoretical functions of it, then we stand a chance to be able to apply it in the most powerful way to our society and move on to a new level of existence, which I call the galactic society. A society that is no longer confined to the surface of their planet, that has infinite amount of goods, infinite amount of power. A society that lives in abundance instead of scarcity, you know, that has a concept that value is only based, the value is only based on the creativity of the one that has it in hand. And that, I believe, is the ultimate. This is what 
I visualize when I see our future. That's what I visualize when I look at the eyes of my three-year-old and when I think of his children. And I think we're just on the cusp. We're so close. And when I see what's going on in the media right now and what's going on in politics right now and all this, I see the old crumbling and the limitations crumbling and have no fear. The wealth is not going anywhere. It's just changing hands. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going from their hands to our hands. It's going from the concepts of scarcity, the concepts of deterioration, the concepts of entropy to the concepts of centropy, over unity, uh, abundance, and ultimately the thriving of our society and our world. And so in this, I'm glad to be with you. I'm glad to be part of this. I'm honored to be part of this. And I want to encourage you to um, you know, to expand your horizon. Don't be afraid of advanced engineering or advanced physics and all this because I tell you, if it's right, it's really simple. And it's, you can understand it and don't be afraid to understand it. Doesn't matter how old or young, whatever, your background, you can understand it and because it is what fundamentally you're made of and it is fundamentally at your heart at the heart of your existence and you will recognize it so thank you so much for having me okay we're not all inventors here but uh, we, we've in our book quoted some really wise people and we're lucky to have one of them living on the North Shore of Vancouver. Um, John Wong is a retired engineer who senses something encouraging happen, even in today's troubled era. And in the electronics and software scene, he witnessed a change in how processes developed in today's court culture. So we quoted him on the topic of open sourcing, the open source culture that's growing so fast in the internet world and it relates to very much to um, a way for inter inventors of breakthrough energy systems to share their discoveries with the world. So uh, John Wong took early retirement and now his wisdom is reaching hundreds of people and he'll soon have a, a website up uh, to pass on more of this. Um, John, would you come up and uh, talk with us? I, I like this. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm a writer and not a speaker, so I have to bear with me. Um, I just want to cover two very quick uh, topics because uh, I actually wrote a long essay, but I only have two minutes, so. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the first one is about the human technology interface, and the second is about this open source. So um, in the, uh, the first part, you know, the uh, human uh, technology interface, I mentioned that um, and it seems that about this uh, fractal geometry that is a recursive um, cycle uh, of creativity. So I noticed that um, also in the uh, you know, sociology, the same is true in this cycle of emergence, where the technology of the uh, language, the communication, the technology, uh, feeds the progress of society, which in turn promotes further uh, language, uh, communication, technology. So this is a recursive cycle of a human, te human technology interface which advances the civilization towards a more uh, complex organization and towards a higher level of consciousness. So um, it was um, actually, um, in terms of technology, it was a Canadian professor, uh, Marshall McLuhan, who in 1964 uh, delineate how the medium affects the society even more so than the content and that the medium is the uh, message global 
uh, village and surfing were the iconic words that um, he came up with to um, discuss the, um, the electronic revolution which uh, at that time was happening and particularly with the internet and the World Wide Web. So he called this the electronic nervous system which is an extension of our own uh, nervous system that actually encompasses uh, stress